Hello there guys and welcome back to another Custard Games development log. This time I'm showing off a new project I've been working on. I've nicknamed it Pseudo Kill for now. As you can see I've got like a little map, uh, some robots over there, some nice camera moving around, zooming, that kind of stuff. So yeah, this game's a bit... I don't, I'm not sure where it's going to go to yet. I think it's going to be a puzzle game. So I'll go ahead and just show the main gameplay, what it what it's going to be like. So if I go ahead and click here, I open a new terminal window. So I can put that wherever I want, resize it if I want to. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to type help. So I can see the available commands that I have right now. So if I pwd, that's print working directory, it shows I'm in slash which is root. So this kind of emulated a you know Unix command line system. Um, it's It's just got the basic stuff so far, I'll be adding more and more to it as I go. But for right now, I've just got this kind of directory system working. So if I go to ls, I can see I've got a camera, robot1, and robot2. So let me go ahead and cd change directory into robot1. Now if I do pwd, it shows I'm in robot1. And if I do ls, it'll show the different scripts that I can use. So say I want to run a shell script. Technically, you'd write sh space the name of the shell script, so which would be say forward dot sh. And if you watch that robot moves forward. Um, now let me go ahead and do that again. But you know shell scripts can also take in parameters. So right now for the forward shell script, I've given it a parameter for distance. So if I put two, he moves two instead. And actually, I don't need even need to put sh because. Um, it's an executable. So, yeah, so if I do left, you know, he moves left. Forward dot sh space 10. He'll go ahead and move up 10 blocks. Uh, let me move him a bit more, actually. Alright, so as you can see, he's gone off the window. So, I could go up like this to go find him. But, or even better, what I could do is I'd go cd dot dot. That puts me in the root directory. And I can go to CD ro uh, camera, and if I see LS, it'll show I've got target.sh and reset.sh. So I'll show you reset.sh just returns me to my original position. But if I do target.sh and give the parameter of robot1, it should go ahead and center on him. So if I CD to go back to the root, and then I CD robot1, and I move him, so write.sh I'm gonna go ahead and queue commands here just so it's easier so let's see forward.sh space 10 that will move him forward 10 places then I'll make him do left.sh move my mouse so you can see and then forward.sh space 20 maybe let's go ahead and see that in action so you should go forward 10 you'll go left and then he'll go forward 20 spaces so if I wanted to get robot 2 up there, I could of course go back and do the old camera thing. Um, go to camera, cd camera, um, target.sh robot 2. So as you can see I'm targeted him now and then you know I want to get him to go to robot 1. So I'm going to have to go ahead and cd slash robot 2. That should put me in that directory, and then I can tell him to go right dot sh forward dot sh space ten uh, fifteen I think right dot sh forward dot sh space ten left dot sh and forward dot sh space mm, a bit less I think. Alright, let's see if that worked out. So yeah, this game's going to be a bit like, you know, you're trying to think of the logic of how to get robots from one place to the other, and maybe they'll have to solve puzzles by going through different things. Uh, that Maybe it'll be a bit of hacking involved. There might be terminals in the end that you might have to hack into. Who knows where this is going. But So for now, this is it. Um, I could control, you know, it's a bit tedious to keep switching directories just back and forth. So I can go ahead and open another terminal window here. So on the right, I'm on robot2. On the left, I can go to robot1. 
So if I want to give them both the same order and go, all right, so they both need to turn right. Um, then I want to go forward, I don't know, like 30 spaces, then turn right. Let, let's see if this works first. So if I copy that I can paste it into robot two and I can run him and run him. And now they should both work. Oh, of course, I didn't do write.sh at the end, but that doesn't matter. So as you can see, it worked out. So I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. It's a cool idea to start with, at least. Um, I can kind of play around with this. You know, I've got other features planned. Uh, soon I want to make autocomplete. That's probably my next feature that I want to do. It's really tedious to keep typing forward.sh. So if I type forward and I press tab, it should autocomplete forward.sh for me. So yes, that is one planned thing. Um, so yeah, that's about it on this front. I'll go ahead and show you some of the code in case you'd like to see. Okay, so here I am on the code. This is just the desktop launcher, so I can set my parameters here. Um, so if you look over here, I've actually got this whole file system done in JSON. So it's all done, like basically serialized to data instead of in code. So if I, I, I wanna, let's go ahead and test this out. So say I want to make a another robot in there. So I can go ahead and see, here's all the robots. So here's for robot two. He's got these different components. I've given him a position component, velocity, character input. So he takes character input. He's got a sprite to show what he's doing. He's got a process queue so that he can run scripts. So this is all, that's the camera. This is all for the robot entity. So if I go ahead and do that, I copy that and I paste it. So over here, I've got all of this. Let me go ahead and change this to robot three and robot three. Now I can move his X and Y coordinate. Um, so I'll go ahead and make him over there. So now if I run, I should hopefully get a robot over here. There we go. So there's robot three. Now on the directories, he won't be there yet because I haven't told the file system to control him. So if I want to do that, I'll go ahead and exit out the game. All right, so I'm out the game. Um, so if I want to add robot three stuff, it's a bit more complicated because I'm going to have to copy all of this script stuff that I've given him. So let's see what's robot two. All of this is for robot two. So I'm going to have to copy that, paste it over here. And then what else do I have to do? Um, where, where is this directory? All right. You, you, you probably don't understand what's happening. That's okay. I'm just doing some scripts. Oops, find robot two, replace with robot, oops, not caps, robot three, replace all. Right, robot three's in there, and now if I add him to the root directory. Right, now technically, if all goes to plan, I should be able to control robot three. So let's go. Okay, in here, let's go ahead and open a terminal window and let's test this. Oh, promising, I see a robot three. CD robot three. All right, let's see if he's got Yep, he's got all the shell scripts. So if I do write.sh space 2, he should turn around 180 degrees. There we go. And see, I can control robot 3 now. So it's been really easy to add in new entities like that. After I add in more scripts, it's going to be easier to add varieties of entities as well. So I can use that to make different robots and different uh, like doors and systems like that. But yeah, that's about it for now. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you stay tuned. If you think this is interesting, do let me know because I'm not really sure if people find this game interesting. Hopefully, I'm going to prototype a few puzzle levels to, for people to play. Then I'll probably make like a little prototype demo that people can test out and see if it's fun or not. And then I'll decide if I want to take the game further from there. But thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.